We're moving through the night like we're from a different star Flying over streets and all broken hearts But they can't even touch us, we found a different beat Paradise is waiting and we bought the lead Ooh, getting caught in the midst of some men that right, never right. get <laughs> That's enough of that. This isn't gonna be one of those kind of sappy nature channel shows or something like that. This is our adventure Sorry. channel. Right, all right, so what's up guys and welcome to what we just said, our, our, adventure. our adventure. And we've just had our first leg where we went eight days backcountry at Algonquin Park. Yeah. And we're gonna talk about it. Let's see, uh... <laughs> we're gonna tell you about it. Yeah, we're, so yeah, we're just gonna tell you about it and um, share our, our journey with you. Actually, let's back up a little bit. What we've decided to do, and you can interject here anytime, is we decided that it would be somehow a smart idea to basically sell everything that we own and buy a canoe and attach it to the top of our truck and travel across Canada. I think that's the basic of it. Just to, yeah, yeah. Basic. yeah, you know, we'll just ever just to see what it'd be like to travel across Canada. Just to, to see our country, see I guess country. you could say. Yeah. So our first stop was to go to Algonquin, kind of somewhere safe where there's, you know, campsites or whatever. Well, and, I mean, our first stop actually was to visit family and see Well, of course, of course. I mean, that's not away for a few months, so, so much of an adventure. No. Well, it is, it but in the other type of adventure sense, I guess you could yes. say. Um, are they watching? Um, probably not. We'll cut that out, that's okay. Um, Love you guys. Yeah, but um, speaking of our family, I wonder, you know, I think our moms. I think our moms will watch. Yeah, yeah, but they're rooting, just, they're rooting for us too, I think. Yeah, eh? I think just to make sure that we're safe. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they think they think we're gonna do well. Bye. I love you. I'm gonna miss you. Oh my goodness. They're gone for a year. No, I got a feeling they're gonna be back a lot sooner. Bye. Yeah, they'll be back in a couple weeks once Andrea realizes there aren't any outlets for her curling iron in those trees. Anyways. Yeah, anyways. anyways. Um, so, yeah, so Algonquin, our first stop. Yeah. So, eight days, we packed up our tent, we packed up all of our dehydrated food, and packed up our clothes, yeah. and set it off yeah. to our first adventure. We should preface this by saying, we've only, the four of us, have been camping together once. One uh, for one night. And it went fairly well. We enjoyed everything except for... Bugs. Bugs, sleeping, yeah. going to the washroom, yeah. um, getting there. Yeah. So basically we enjoyed swimming <laughs> and, and campfire. And, campfire. So, and, not, and hot dogs. Yeah. So for some and reason we decided to do it for this whole trip across Canada. Canada. Anyway, so, so okay, on to our trip. So we decided to start off at Lake Opiango and do a little bit of a detour. So Opiango, then I think Prue Lake, Lake then uh, Red, Rock, Red Rock, Happy, Happy Isle, Isle, then back then to Opiango. Opiongo. All in eight days. And so Opiongo is the biggest lake. It's the biggest lake. Algonquin. It probably takes between three to five hours to canoe across the whole lake, yeah, depending on the wind or what have you. Of course, for us, it was windy the whole time, but you know. Anyways, so, okay, so let's start off. We get it, we get in there, we're canoeing. We, we think Just everything- pause, pause for a sec, let's wave. You wave. You oh. wave. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Good, good. Where are you guys off to today? Not sure yet? Okay. <laughs> I think it's like right across. Check it out. Cool. Right. <laughs> cool. Right on. Um, okay, where were we? What are we talking about? Um, oh yeah, okay. So we get onto the lake. We're on Lake Opiango. And we're about half hour in, thinking it's going pretty well. It's going good. Then all it was going good. We got all yeah. of our. We were able to get all of our stuff in, and we had a lot of stuff because yeah. we have our four packs, our tent, two yeah. bags of food, and Odum's big food <laughs> and electronic bag. Yeah, I have my electronic gear. So we managed to get all that in. Yeah, we'll probably do some kind of gear yeah, review yeah, yeah. at some point. So Anyways. we get all that in, plus the kids, plus us, without tipping it. Yeah. And we're paddling along, we're doing good. 30 minutes in. Yeah. You look over behind me I, and say, I can, what's, what's that over there? Because well, I can hear these planes Yeah, it's just like in. a plane. And 
Then I'm like, no, no, it's just a plane. They're fine. No, They're no, just, no. just going over. And I was like, and then it's getting closer. What the shit? It's coming directly for us. Dive bombing us. Like, and it's straight. not. And it's not just a little plane. Like this sucker is like a it big, it's a, green military. Yeah, plane. it's a military plane. It has like four pro propellers on yeah, each yeah. side. So it's like bearing down. But at on first, us. at first, I'm like, okay, well. They're just getting close. They're maybe they're uh, think at first I thought it was like a water plane. Maybe it's gonna be landing. And then it's getting closer and closer and literally still heading straight, straight for, for us. us. And then I swear, it gets so close. We're at I'm like, there's no landing gear. You could see everything. I'm like He's gonna crash I'm one second from like saying, I just need to jump off this boat because I don't know what to do. It's like, okay. see kids. What do you do? Whoop. What do you do in that situation? It's like, what do you do? I except, know. except crap your pants. Yeah, exactly. So Literally, so he's coming in, and like literally at the last second, he just starts to pull he pulls up. Pulls up, and then banks, and then banks and then super up. hard. He came, I would say, without a word of a lie, probably within 10 meters of us. Yeah. You could almost you get almost up with your paddle, and you could touch the plane. Oh it was insane. And then a second plane came right by. But this, a lot. But this guy. Not as bad as the yeah. first one. I think I caught a clip of it. <laughs> I was gonna like jump out of the plane or the. He didn't dive bomb us. Like he did the same kind of oh. path, but he wasn't like bearing down on us. So the first guy was just an asshole. It was insane. He just yeah. wanted to make people on like Opion go shit the pants. Yeah, because it was crazy. And Andrea's shaking the whole time after. Because uh, oh, yeah. we're like, okay, that's it. We're what do we do? We're, we're, we're done. And I think Maya. She was like, I think I said some bad words in my head the whole time because it was, it was Scary. crazy. We thought like, this is it. Not, I was like, what not. are you gonna do? There's a big plane head, and then it was like, we gotta move. How are we gonna move? I can't paddle faster than the plane. I don't know. Right for us. Right it for was us. insane. So, oh. any military guys? Yeah, we thought it was. Okay, go ahead. You're kind of a jerk. Yeah, the military guy. Yeah, we figured because there's a military base I think somewhat close by. Because yeah, they like they, they came in, banked, and then they were gone. I'm They're like, gone. where did they go? Yeah. So they were just being Anyways. good joke. Haha, uh -huh. that was hilarious. We crapped our pants. Thank you for that. <laughs> Anyways, nice. so that was our first eventful day. Yeah. Um, everything was went pretty well. The second day, except for the portage. Yeah, the second day because the, this guy. Did you remember it this time? I have it this time. Okay. I have it he this time. He forgot. What is it called? So we went to, to MEC specifically to get a little cushion that goes on the canoe on the, the on the yoke to help you to help to your shoulders. Cushion, to yeah, cushion to, your shoulders when you're, when you're, when you're carrying. Yeah. Yeah. So there are canoes. It's a it's a big canoe. It's almost 18 foot or 17 by six. It's a Kuwait and um, three seater, and it weighs about 55 pounds. So it's a pretty it's a pretty decent canoe. It's not that heavy for its size, um, but of course it gets heavy when you're carrying your pack and you're portaging or whatever. Yeah. So the first portage was 3.2 kilometers or something, something like that around, and it got it was so bad because it was so heavy and so uncomfortable on my shoulders. We had to stop every about 400 it, meters. Not even it was like 300. Yeah, every 300 to 400 was, meters. And it took us. It was like four and a half. Hours yeah. So I, so we go go along on the portage 400 meters. I'd have to sit down in the canoe. I'd ha and everyone else would take a rest. So I'd have to go back get my other backpack and get the food and carry that along, so drop it off, pick up the canoe, do another 400 meters, back and forth, back and forth for four hours. So Doom did that portage three times. Yeah, I was like going three legs. Three so uh, so it that was, was fun. a long day. It was fun. It but was our, a long but day. our site after that was awesome. Was that, I, think that, I think that was one of our best sites, eh? Yeah, it was a really good Which site. Which one was that one? I can't Bedrock. remember. The no, one. I just want, I don't remember what, it, what, what happened, like what it was. It was Is that the one on the high on the island? Uh, Anyways, yeah, it was, it was, was a nice my, one. my memory's already a blur. Yeah. <laughs> you blocked it. Yeah, I blocked, blocked it. it. But it was yeah. good. We only got it was we only got like half a day of rain, really. Yeah, the weather was nice yeah, the whole time. Good. Jeez, it was. Yeah. yeah we made out really oh, well. we should probably mention, if you're ever going on a trip like this and it's kind of your first time, pay attention to the sleeping bag you buy and what the weather rating is mm -hmm. and what the forecast is going to be and like double what you think you need for sleeping yeah. because the whole time we were freezing and of course you're in the middle of nowhere so you can't go up go and do anything well the thing the thing is, is it's ontario in may you think it would be warmish yeah that's but another thing this spring has been a really late spring they even we even had to delay our trip because the ice wasn't out of the lakes yet yeah so, in the middle of may yeah, by may middle, 16th we were yeah. supposed to go yeah so it was pretty 
It was cool. Pretty cold. Nice. Yeah, it got to about zero degrees on, yeah. on most nights, yeah, and so we were free. like one, our sleeping bags were three season sleeping bags. No, not worth not, anything at all. No, very bad. Very bad. They're not three season. Um, so yeah, it was just really cold, was cold for most of the nights. It was crazy. So make sure you very have uncomfortable. a proper sleeping bag. But we made it. Yeah. And somehow <laughs> cuddling somehow close cuddling. together. Um, and yeah, make sure you have enough food. Yeah, we had enough food, but at the last two days, we kind of had to ration a little bit. Yeah. And we made it to shore with no food left whatsoever. Which is And pretty hungry. Which, which is, is good. good. That's kind of what you want too, right? So we had the meals planned out, yeah. and I did pack a little bit extra. But it, we probably could use another like snack bag. If we would have had another bag yeah. of nuts, because we made like yeah. these trail mix, mix bags. Yeah, yeah. If we would have had one of those, that would have been, been really good. good. But overall, overall, I would say maybe out of 10. 7 out of 10? Yeah, maybe you give it a seven. maybe you give it a little bit lower. I don't know. No, I'd say seven. It was yeah. good. A little cold. Good. You couldn't swim. Other than that, it's fine. Even the long days are fine because you're doing you're something. Doing something. Yeah. So I don't mind the yeah. portaging and walking yeah. or canoeing or whatever. We, we got it. We were able to get and I was able to get in two workouts. Two workouts. Two workouts yeah, workouts, that was, was that was great. Which was nice. We should be able to do more as we go along here. Yeah, it gets warmer so. and I think so. yeah. Yeah. But other than that, and Algonquin, it's a beautiful park. Yeah. Everything's really well maintained if you want to go camping there, especially backcountry. The sites are really well marked. The thunder boxes where you shit in the woods are <laughs> really well... Favorite parts? Favorite. No. Really well maintained. <laughs> like everything's very well maintained. Yeah. It's just some of the some of the campsites we got to, people had left some garbage behind, which isn't nice. Yeah, that's annoying. Don't leave your garbage. Um, like if you're going there and enjoy just the, take the it country, with you. just like... Someone um, left like a full... Bo two liter, liter bottle, bottle of coke. coke. What are you doing? And it's not even a good coke. It was like this the, the the name coke. brand. Yeah, it's like, come on. At least leave me a Pepsi or something. Uh, no, so, but anyways, but overall, if you want to go to Algonquin, I totally suggest it. It's good. Oh, yeah. Even the campsites, we stayed at Mule Lake and we stayed at Lake of Rivers. Great campsites. Which like? Both really nice. Oh, the camp. Yeah, we did that before. The Mew and uh, Lake of Two. Lake of Two Rivers, I'd recommend yeah. over Mew Lake yep, for sure. Yep. Much nicer. Yep. And uh, check out the visitor center. We saw wildlife we saw. Yeah, we didn't see anything big when we were actually on the trip. On I think we were being so loud because we we're like don't a little bit worried bears. about bears. You know, it's not the biggest thing to be concerned about because... But you don't want to see them. Yeah, you don't want to see them like at your campsite or anything like that. But so, you want to see them too lots, at the same time. Yeah, but like lots of loons, lots of lots weirdo of bird sounds. Well, at night, at night it's crazy. You're like, what is that? I don't know. I don't know. You <laughs> Close your eyes. Kudos. <laughs> Just go to sleep. <laughs> um, yeah, but that was yeah. But then on our way out, we saw how many moose? Four moose. Four moose. Four moose. We two saw beavers. Two beavers. Yeah. Uh, what else? Was it? There's something else. We saw. I don't know. Just. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of cool stuff. Lots of cool stuff. Yeah. But it was a great start was a to great our start. adventure. Yeah, we learned a lot. Yes. Took away a lot. Yeah. And now we're at we're in Killarney. Killarney. Killarney Provincial Park. Yeah. And we're on George Lake to start off and we'll let you guys know how that goes. Yeah. How the trip is. Right? I hope it goes good. <laughs> <laughs> so do I. So do I. Jeez. Can't, can't be any worse than Algonquin, I think. And, and again, it was Algonquin still pretty good. Was so right? bad. It was good. So, yeah. all right. All right so good. I think that's it. Anything else about the trip? I, I think it was so. pretty good, eh? It was eh? good. It was yeah. a good trip. Yeah, we did good. good. I'm proud. You did awesome. I can't Thank believe you. that portaging. Yeah, like, that was three. It was three portages. Yeah, probably almost six thousand kilometers or six thousand kilometers. <laughs> six thousand. <laughs> so six thousand meters. Let's take it easy. Yeah, you know, six thousand kilometers, no problem. No, problem. no about six thousand meters in total yeah. of portaging. And then yeah. I, did, I had to do those three times going back and forth and yeah. stuff. So yeah, so yeah. So yeah, good. and uh, we won't do any big legs like that anymore. Nope. Lesson learned. <laughs> Portaging is not for us. Yeah, no, it's not bad though. It's but still kind of the fun. kids did awesome. They yep. did really good. There was barely any complaining. I don't think they really did complain. It was no, just they're too tired to complain. No, yeah, it's true. <laughs> no, it's good. No, but they did good carrying yep. their pa heavy packs and yeah, yeah it was yeah, good. it was great. It was really good. Very good experience. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Let's. Uh, Sign off, oh, I guess. All right. Great. High five. High five. Good stuff. Good and stuff. we'll see you guys next, next video. Time.